The circuit you can see is a series circuit and I know this because if you follow the electrons there is only one route the electrons can take to get from one side of the battery back to the other side of the battery. Here is a series circuit in which I've got a battery, a bulb and two resistors. I'm going to use an ammeter to measure the current flowing in different parts of the circuit. Here you can see I need to break the circuit to put the ammeter into the circuit so that the current has to flow through it. And you can see that the current flowing is 0 0.50 amps. So now I'll move the ammeter to different parts of the circuit and you'll see again that the current is still 0 0.50 amps even though the ammeter is in a different place. So we can see that it doesn't matter where I put the ammeter in the circuit the current is always the same and in this circuit that's 0 0.50 amps. I'm now going to use a voltmeter to measure the voltage or potential difference across the different components in the circuit. So here's the voltage or potential difference across the battery which you can see is 30 volts. And I'll now measure the voltage across this resistor and that's 15 volts. The voltage across this resistor is 10 volts. and the voltage across the bulb is 5 volts. Let's have a look at the circuit in more detail and see if we can find a pattern in the measurements that we've just taken. So first of all let's draw the circuit diagram. So there's the symbol for a battery and We've got that rectangle is the symbol for a resistor, so that's the first resistor. There's another resistor. And we've got the bulb. And that completes the circuit. So the first place we put the voltmeter was from one side of the battery to the other. So we'll call that V1 there. We then put the voltmeter here, V2. Put the voltmeter here. three and finally we put the voltmeter here. We'll call that V4. And the measurements that we recorded, well V1 was equal to 30 volts and that was the voltage provided by the battery. And then we had V2 was equal to 15 volts, V3 was equal to 10 volts and V4 was equal to 5 volts. So if I look carefully at the values, here I've got the value of the voltage or potential difference provided by the battery and here is the voltage or the potential difference across each of the components in my series circuit and I can see that 15 add 10 add 5 comes to 30 which is the same as the voltage across the battery so I can say that V1 which is the voltage across the battery is equal to V2 plus V3 plus V4. Here's the series circuit we've been investigating with the potential differences that we measured 
um, in the last section. I also know from the first section that the current flowing in the circuit is 0 0.50 amps and that's the same everywhere in the circuit. I'm going to use this information now to calculate the total resistance in the circuit. I know that the current I is equal to potential difference V divided by the resistance. So to rearrange that I'm going to use a triangle and since V is on top of R, V has to go at the top of the triangle and then the other two go at the bottom. So if I want to calculate R, I cover R up and that must be V divided by I. So I can write R equals V divided by I where V is the potential difference and I is the current. If I want to find the total resistance in the circuit, I'll call that R total, that must equal the potential difference provided by the battery, which is 30 volts, divided by the current flowing in the circuit, which is 0 0.50 amps. So that must equal 60 ohms. So the total resistance in the circuit is 60 ohms. I'm now going to calculate the value of each of these resistances. So if I call that R1, resistance R2, and the resistance to the bulb R3. So I can use the same formula. So I've got R1 will equal the voltage divided by the current, so that's the voltage across R1, which is 15 volts, divided by the current, well, it's a series circuit, so the current is the same everywhere, so that's 0 0.50 amps, so that must equal 30 ohms. So R1's 30 ohms. Let's go for R2. R2 equals well, again, R2 is V over I, so the voltage across R2 is 10 volts, so that's 10, divided by the current flowing in the circuit, which is 0 0.50 everywhere, so that must equal 20 ohms. And R3, the resistance of the bulb, again, voltage divided by current, so that must be 5 volts divided by 0 0.50, which equals 10 ohms. So, <clears throat> is there a pattern here? R1 is 30 ohms, R2 is 20 ohms, and R3 is 10 ohms, and the total resistance of the circuit is 60 ohms, so 30 plus 20 plus 10 equals 60 ohms. So, when I've got resistors in series, I can find the combined resistance of those resistors by adding up the individual resistors. So, R total will equal 30 plus 20 plus 10, which equals 60 ohms.